This is a stimulus and social security update. Got some important updates to share with you. Social security recipients losing out on over a thousand dollars due to economic conditions. President Biden says good news with the economy. I'll play you a short video clip of what he says. Joe Manchin's wife receives millions of dollars from the recently passed bill in Congress. President Biden has a backup plan if student loan forgiveness doesn't happen, which seems like it might not. And there is two days left for $1,000 checks going out to Americans. And I'll give you some other important updates as well. Hope you're having a fantastic Friday. If you appreciate the fact-based, fast-based updates, hit the like button down below. And I'm giving $200 checks to my subscribers. Details of how you can sign up for that down in the description below. Uh, so... Social Security cost of living adjustments have fallen short of inflation by $1,054 since the start of the pandemic. So as everyday prices have soared, Social Security benefits have not necessarily kept up, according to a new analysis. And how much beneficiaries are able to catch up in 2023 will mostly depend on inflation coming down. So we're starting to hear more and more how Social Security recipients suffered a lot over the past year, but nothing was done about it. So with this, basically, it's saying saying that uh, the new data indicates that Social Security benefits will recover $38 after months of grappling with record high inflation. So due to the inflation going down, uh, Social Security recipients finally coming out ahead with an extra $38 according to inflation data. So the average Social Security benefits fell short of inflation by $1,054 from the start of the pandemic through 2022. That's a lot of money. Basically, it's an invisible tax on Social Security recipients losing out on $1,000 and nothing was addressed to help out Social Security recipients, low income, fixed income, SSI, SSDI, or veterans. No extra help was given or well, when this group of people was suffering and couldn't pay their bills, couldn't pay their heat, couldn't buy food. I've seen the comments. It's really sad. Let me know your thoughts. Are things getting better? Well, According to this, Social Security recipients should be thrilled with latest inflation report. Not necessarily sure if recipients are thrilled about it, but with the inflation going down to 6.5% of the coal at 8.7%, probably not going to see this change in your everyday life for maybe a month or more. Uh, so let me know, are you thrilled about this data? Uh, so ink on a screen or someone like me saying that the inflation is going down doesn't really affect your day-to-day -day of paying for food, paying for your rent, paying for utilities. So I'm not sure if thrilled is the right word about that, but let me know your thoughts on that. Uh, speaking of the economy, consumer price index reports show fall in gas prices helps inflation slow again in December. So I mentioned the slowdown last month in December, which was 6.5%. President Biden made an announcement after Biden says inflation slowdown shows it's clearer than ever his economic policies are working. Uh, are they working? Because, uh, you know, I guess numbers are going down, but I just love not just President Biden, but politicians in general love to point blame if it doesn't benefit them, but then take credit if it does. Uh, not pointing fingers here, but I'm just saying that's kind of, I guess, how politics work. Take a look at what President Biden has to say. Today, we've got some good news. Good news about the economy. For the sixth month in a row, inflation has come down. Measured over the last 12 months, it has fallen 6.5 percent. That's down from 7.1 percent the month before. It's down from 9.1 percent this summer. Inflation is now at its lowest level since October of 2021. When we look at the at the just the last three months, we see that inflation fell to 1.8 percent on an annualized basis. It's down from more than 11 percent in the first three months of last year. So the data is clear. Even though inflation is high in major economies around the world, it's coming down in America month after month, giving families some real breathing room. And the big reason is falling gas prices. My administration took action to get oil onto the market and bring down prices. Now gas is down more than $1.70 from its peak. That adds up to a family with a typical family with two vehicles to a savings of $180 a month, every single month that stays in their pockets instead of being spent at the pump. 
What are your thoughts on what President Biden has said? Are things getting better? Although all the data and news people and things like that are showing that things are getting better, uh, none of that matters unless it's individually getting better for you. So I'm really curious. Are things getting better? Let me know down in the comments below. Uh, so I wanted to point this out because I think it shows how Congress and Washington works and, and how it's all about, you know, Helping self-preservation, helping yourself first. So, uh, it doesn't really make to add much to like the overall news, but I think it's important to see uh, this how this works. So, commission led by Senator Manchin's wife is set to receive millions more from Manchin-backed omnibus. So, commission led by Gail Manchin will receive two hundred million dollars in 2023 from Senator Joe Manchin's backed omnibus bill. So, not two hundred million dollars in her pocket, although. You know, you never know where this money's going. Uh, so West Virginia Democrat Senator backed the $1.7 trillion omnibus spending bill in December, which included $200 million increase in funding for a commission overseen by his wife. That money is now set to be paid out in 2023. The commission in question, the Appalachian Regional Commission, ARC, employs Gail Manchin, paying her a salary roughly $160,000 annually. The median household income in West Virginia is $50,000. Uh, so, yeah, it's not really saying there's any corruption, but, you know, Joe Manchin's wife's, uh, you know, uh, what is it, commission gets $200 million, and she got a lot more last year as well. It kind of makes you question, right? So it's not really a Democrat or Republican thing. It's just power. You know, of course, he wants to help out his wife, help out himself, Uh I don't know. What are your thoughts on this? Is this corruption or is this just business as usual? Let me know your thoughts on this. Uh, now, this has probably happened a lot more, but Joe Manchin just happens to be a high profile politician at the moment uh, due to his like controversial past. But this has probably happened to a lot of no name politicians, senators and congressmen as well that we're not really aware of or who aren't front and center. So let me know your thoughts on that. So President Biden just announced updates to student loan repayment. Here's what borrowers need to know. So the student loan forgiveness still in, still in Supreme Court, but there have been a, a backup plan announced, uh, which sort of means that maybe the White House and President Biden think that Student loan forgiveness may not happen, that $10,000 forgiven uh, with this backup plan. So basically, with this backup plan, there's a few things in place. Monthly payments reduced to 5% of discretionary income. So there's a way to calculate that. And then it's $0 monthly payments for low-income borrowers. And then no interest accumulation while making regular payments and then easier path to loan forgiveness. So those are, without getting into too much detail, Oh, and then automatic enrollment for at-risk borrowers. So without getting into too much detail, it looks like they have a plan in place just in case the the $10,000 student loan forgiven doesn't go through in Supreme Court. So that's kind of the backup there. And then, uh, where is it? Stimulus update, only two days before direct payments worth $1,050 arrive. So these are the checks in California. They're going out in a couple of days. Uh, but there has been an announcement that it was supposed to uh, finish. Actually, no, sorry, tomorrow is when it's coming out, January 14th. But they came out with an announcement a couple of days ago that they're going to extend that. So payments are going to still go out January 30th and February 14th. So another month of payments in California if you did not receive your California stimulus check yet. Anywhere between $200 and $1,000, depending on where you fill, uh, fit in with income and you know, dependence and all that. So uh, yeah, just wanted to have you be aware of that. And that is all the news that I have for you today to hopefully brighten your day a bit. Here's my daughter Bella's tip of the day. Hi guys, this is the tip of the day. Want me to tell you the one thing that you should do? You should, when you feel bad, take a couple deep breaths in and out. And also, after that, you can realize that things are better. So, bye. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate all of your support. So I might have taken it a little too far yesterday. I uh, went to the pool with my family, indoor pool, where Bella does her uh, swim practice. And I just was walking on my feet. And it felt so good to walk because, you know, there's less weight in the pool. 
but I probably walk too much. I can't even walk now. I'm back on the scooter for since that and maybe a little bit of today. But I think, you know, just a little sore. Uh, it's nothing too bad. So I'll get back up. Uh, anyways, hopefully you have a great rest of your day. If you want to check out any of my other videos, click right up here. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Be safe. Thank you for watching.